<laughs> Any upcoming projects or anything? Tell us what you're working on, going on tour, all that good stuff. Um, I just got off a tour. Last year I did a lot of touring, promotion. Um, I was on tour with Maxwell and Mary J. Blige. Hey. I had the chance to really uh, watch and learn from them who have been doing this for a long time. Uh, that was my first tour, you know. Um, we're still like, we're still pushing El Dorado every day. I feel like people are still growing and learning. If you don't have it, you should go check it out. That's my album. <laughs> but uh, there's people still discovering the music. And at the same time, I'm working on my next album, so. Tell me about your ele elevation from Coke, Jack, and Cadillac ah. to where you currently are today. Okay. Your, your past album, current album. Uh, so Coke, Jack, and Cadillacs was the first body of work that I released in uh, 2013, uh, independently. Uh, Coke represented my first girl, uh, Jack represented myself, and Cadillac was my first car, so it just represented all first for me. Um, and it was just a story I put out, the, and it was independent. Then I moved on, and I got with Bystorm, RCA, with uh, Mark Pitts, you know, shout out to RCA, who gave me an opportunity to really share my voice and to share my story and uh, put out my first album last year in May, so yeah. I'm gonna open the floor, starting with Big Mike. Question. What's up, man? Uh, as a radio programmer, do you feel like permission, as big as permission was, is in the way of your success? <laughs> man, amazing question, bro. Um, I do a little bit, but at the same time, I feel like when I started this, I wanted to make classic music that could go forever, right? And in the world where it's a rap, dominated industry you know I'm singing and I'm singing about love and I'm singing about showing a woman respect you know which is cutting through and I feel like women are appreciating it but at the same time I feel like I, I put really a lot of effort into this album into El Dorado to be able to share my story you know and there's amazing songs on there that really I feel like could speak to people but uh, people are still stuck on permission or some of them have don't even know that I have an album out you know so they're like Oh, I like your song. And I'm like, yeah, go check out the album. <laughs> you, they're like, oh, you put out an album? Yeah. You know, but um, I feel like Permission is just, it's a great song. And I feel like, um, yeah. I like your style. It's very eclectic. How would you describe it? Me? Yeah, it's very like <laughs> artsy, meet hood, meet yeah, just chill artist. Yeah, you see that? I mean, um, I, my father was in the military. I, I, tried, I lived everywhere, everywhere. Um, but New York was... My mom's from New York and my father's from Indiana. So I got like the country and then I got, you know, New York City where, where it was free to be yourself and dress how you wanted to. You know, it's fashion capital of the world. But also, you know, I'm Panamanian. So, you know, if you anybody Panamanian or any West Indians, you know, it's really jewelry. I got a gold tooth, you know, and it's not just because it was a fad. It was like I, from a kid, my grandmother, my aunts, had gold teeth, you know, and I was like, oh, I want a gold tooth. My mom was like, no, it's the hood. That's too hood. You're going to be judged. People are going to have a wrong perception of you. And I'm like, ma, it's not like that. So I took my tooth and, you know, the first thing I did, I went and got a gold tooth. But I feel like it's just part of who I am as a person and not really trying to follow a trend.